Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be showing you my recent favorites. I absolutely love filming these videos. I have a ton of stuff in front of me. I just love talking about things that I love. Um, and this is going to be uh, December 2021 and January 2022 favorites. And so it's two, two months of things, so I have a lot going on but I wanted to talk it through and show you guys so I hope you enjoy and let's just get right into it I have makeup skincare vintage stuff Audrey Hepburn stuff uh, clothes and some food favorites so let's let's get into it um, awesome so I have I'll start with skincare I have this cleanser here from the brand feel renewed or maybe the brand is Feel and then the Renewed part, I'm not sure. It is the Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, and so this is a deep skin treatment and gentle exfoliation. So it's basically an exfoliating cleanser. And so here is a close-up of it. But I'm almost out of it, actually. And this is from a Ipsy from a while back. And so I... Um, I don't know, I'm finally getting to all my products in my collection and it's just a really nice product because I feel like I can cleanse but also exfoliate a little bit so it helps um, really give my skin a nice smooth feel, clean my skin but also um, I feel like it helps with pores because after I use it it's like I exfoliated um, and sometimes I'm a little lazy and I don't always use a separate exfoliant or I don't always remember to use an, a separate exfoliant as often as I should. So very cool product from an old Ipsy and wanted to mention it. Um, then another skincare product I got from a BoxyCharm is the Tarte C Wink of H2O little eye cream. And this is just really nice. It's super, um, soothing on the eyes it's like always feels cold for some reason and I have a pretty you know I've used a good amount of it but it's really nice under the eyes it feels really good it has collagen it's vegan and I don't know I don't have any complaints about it but I've been really enjoying it as a little um Care, you know, eye cream for the nighttime. I usually use it, but you can use it day and night also. Sorry if you can hear, I feel like there's cars outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, okay, great. Let's talk about some other makeup. Oh, wait, I wanted to mention what is on my eyes today. I am wearing the Cinderella palette from Sigma Beauty. And I don't know why I sleeped on this palette for so long. I've been wanting this forever and I just got it. I just bought it. I love Cinderella. I don't know if you can tell. I have a little carriage light behind me. I have more Cinderella stuff behind me. I love, I love Cinderella. So I don't know why it took me so long to purchase this palette, but I'm sure this is gonna become, well, <laughs> this is gonna become a favorite it is just look at that oh my gosh with the little like uh, imprint and the shadows oh my gosh so beautiful but I used today I used kindness bippity boppity boo bippity boppity boo is the like sh purple shimmer on my eyes that I wanted to use first that's what I used um, I wanted to use that shade of all of the shades also hopeful and wishful yeah, I already said kindness. So yeah, those ones are what I'm wearing today. And I want to do more with this palette. This was just my my first look and it's a little dark in here. But super, super excited about this. I cannot wait to do more looks. But thought I'd mention what was on my eyes. <laughs> so okay, next we have another palette. The Glow Getter Face Palette from... Beauty in a Blink, so from the brand Blink. This is also a BoxyCharm product I got a few months ago. And it is just such a pretty cheek palette and I wanted to shout it out because I've been using it a lot and I don't think I've mentioned it on my channel, but it has four blushes and four highlights and 
These two shades are a little too dark for me, so I don't always use them, but the first three of all, basically the first two highlight shades and then the first three blushes is what I like to reach into. I'm wearing Accomplished and Talented and a tiny, tiny bit of Resilient as my blush today, and then I'm using a, I kind of used a mixture of Empowered and Confident, I love these names, um, as my highlight and really, really nice, smooth formula, and it actually smells really good. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells like vanilla. It's super, super, I don't know, super cool. But yeah, I really love this little cheek palette. I've been reaching for it a lot, and I think the formula is great. I think this is my first time trying the brand Blank, and so far, so good. I enjoy this palette. I wanted to shout it out. And then we have some Thrive Cosmetics products. I absolutely love Thrive Cosmetics and um, I wanted to shout out the Buildable Blur HD Creaseless Concealer. I am wearing it today on my eyelids and under my eyes. Um, as on my eyelids as like an eye primer almost and then under my eyes as concealer. This is the shade Light Cool, but I have a couple shades that I tried to, I'm kind of figuring out what to, which is my favorite shade, but this is the one I used today, and it's just a really nice buildable formula, and it doesn't really crease bad. I feel like I do always set my concealer, so I don't know exactly if it doesn't crease without any um, setting it down, but I really think it is creaseless, <laughs> like they say, and it just a really nice formula. I really like that you can build it up or you can use a little bit. A little goes a long way and um, I don't know. I've just really enjoyed it. I think I mentioned it in my Best of Beauty 2021. Check out that video if you want to know all my favorite products of 2021. I think I mentioned it but I wanted to shout it out here as well because I've just really been reaching for it. It's a really great concealer. And then also this lipstick, I am wearing it today. It is Eileen, their Pink Taupe Headliner Lipstick. Here is the gorgeous turquoise packaging. It says, hello gorgeous, and it's like a magnetic closure. And it is the perfect pink. I swear I'm wearing it today with no lip liner, just this product because I wanted you to see what it looks like, you know, on its own. And it's just such a pretty pink. And I, I don't know, I think when I, I recently tried this and I, it was one of those moments, I don't know if you have had this moment with a lipstick, but it's like one of those moments where you're like, oh my gosh, this is like my shade or this is gonna be such a favorite, such a like constant shade for me. And I don't have that often. Like I love pink lipstick, but I feel like I don't know, I feel like my skin tone, it'll just, if it's too pink, like if it's too bright of a pink, I look kind of crazy and I don't enjoy it. So I'm just, I just really was super pumped when I tried this on and I was like, okay, it doesn't look too pink, but it's still the color I'm looking for. It's just like my perfect everyday shade. So I wanted to shout this out because I just like, I had a moment. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is it. I found it <laughs> of, of my own. Uh, personal favorite lipstick so I enjoy their other lipstick shades as well and um, you know I just I feel like I didn't have that feeling with um, I don't have that feeling with many lipsticks ever except for this one lately so super pumped about that I just I don't know it's just perfect I love it and lately like I don't know some Besame lipsticks I tried I absolutely love their formula and I just they just looked weird on me. Like, I feel like I have, um, you know, I've found that there's certain pinks I just can't wear on myself, but I love this one from Thrive uh, Cosmetics, but awesome. And then I have a e.l.f. product. This is the Dewy Setting Mist, and I'm like pretty low on this. I really, I don't think I've ever talked about this either, but I'm wearing it today, and it's just a really nice setting spray. It feels really nice on the skin. It has a pretty good sprayer um you know it's like fine a fine mist and it gives you a little bit of dewiness you know I don't think I don't think it gives you too much dewiness if you're kind of scared of that type of product I don't think you should be scared of this because it's not it doesn't give you too much dewiness 
Obviously, if you prefer super matte looks, I don't think I'd recommend it, but it's a great product nonetheless. I've really been enjoying using this after I do my makeup. Um, I feel like it does help the, the longevity of it, but also give me a little bit of a, a glow or dewiness, so I've really enjoyed that. And then we have, let's see, I have a couple vintage makeup products. I got these two vintage lipsticks at antique stores near me here, and I wanted to show you them because I think they're cool. This is a Revlon Paint the Town Pink Living Lipstick, and I believe these are from the 50s. From what I've found, here is the, the packaging with the little nub at the top, and look at that at the bottom. Can you see it? Oh, wait. There we go. Yep, it says Living Lipstick Paint the Town Pink H70 Revlon, and there is some product in there. I don't think I can get it up to show you today, but super, super cool. I'm just loving vintage makeup recently, and from the 50s, this is, uh, so that's pretty cool. And same with this one. This is Helen... New, oh my god, I'm not going to know how to say her last name, <laughs> but here it is, and it has a little thing on the top to make it look like it's actually the lipstick already coming out, but it isn't. Isn't that so cute? And this one, it doesn't say the name, but look at how old this looks. I don't know if you can see. It's like kind of gross, but there it is. <laughs> But anyways, that, those are my vintage lipsticks that I got recently. Just super cool. And I found them at two different antique stores, but both are from the 50s, I believe. And both are just super cool. So had to mention these that I have display, on display normally behind me. Um, now I'm going to smell like metal or something. <laughs> um, and then another vintage favorite is this super sweet gift I got from my work, Secret Santa, uh, for my work, and it is the 1970s Avon carriage little, we were talking about Cinderella, I love carriages, I love Cinderella, and it's just this little um, empty fragrance, you know, perfume bottle with, you know, it's a little carriage from the 70s from Avon, how adorable, isn't that the cutest thing? It's so beautiful, and I also have this display on display normally behind me. So, so cute. I love it, and I'm so thankful for the, um, the girl who got it for me. That was so sweet. And I have a little decor piece in front of me. This is a rose candle from TJ Maxx, or, you know, it might have been Home Goods, one of the two, and it's just so cute. I have it usually in my bathroom, my girly bathroom, and... I just thought it was so adorable and I haven't lit it because I think it's just more of a decor piece than anything else but thought I'd shout it out because I think it's really cool. Oh, okay, let's keep going. Another, or let's do clothing, so, or no, this isn't clothing, sorry. This is TJ Maxx, it is a macaroon blanket. I have absolutely been loving it. It's super duper soft on one side and then the macaroons are on the other side. I got this at the kids section in TJ Maxx. Um, I know I'm crazy, but I just thought it was so cute and it would go with my makeup room and I've been loving the aesthetic of macaroons in Paris and so love that blanket. I have some sweatpants from a um, boutique near me. This is, I don't even know the brand. It's a small, but it's, I think it says Marine, Marini's and it is just a mint pair of sweatpants and I just think they're so fun for around the house and yeah wanted to shout them out <laughs> then in more so early December I wore this um oh I dropped the concealer I wore this pink north face a lot it is kind of form-fitting so I got a medium shade a uh, medium shade oh my god a medium size but it's just a women's North Face jacket in this pink shade and I really enjoy it. Lately I've been wearing my winter coat but I wanted to shout that out. And then lastly for clothing, I have this Tommy Hilfiger small 
um, robe or small to medium robe I think it was and it just <laughs> hard to show on camera but it's from TJ Maxx from a long time ago for my mom and I've been really loving it because it's just so cozy in the morning and I don't know why I've been sleeping sleeping on robes like I don't use robes but they're so comfy and adorable and I love it so this is my white and gray robe that I've been wearing a lot in the morning um, then some more antique finds I found a couple of photo frames from an antique store that I thought were really cute this is me and my boyfriend but isn't this isn't this frame so cute it's like white with gold accents and I just thought it was really really cute and girly but like I don't know super like shabby chic I really enjoy that frame and that doesn't even seem like an antique I think that's like newer and then this is this was actually a little wedding guest thing like at an antique store you could tell like it said table whatever you know table seven blah 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 um, but I just put a tiny little picture of me and my boyfriend in it and it is a um, little carriage photo frame so I absolutely had to pick it up. I thought it was so so cute. So love that. <laughs> love that. Um, some, let's see. Oh, okay. A book favorite. My Aunt Nettie got me this for Christmas and I read it but it's mostly pictures but I did read it and go through the photos and oh my gosh it's so amazing it is called charmed by audrey life on the set of sabrina and it's about the photographer of sabrina or i'm sorry of audrey and the pictures of her and some quotes about her and just how amazing and cool she was and so i absolutely love this book here i love this photo of her applying a lipstick on the couch oh my gosh and this was her couch in her apartment and you can't tell because it's black and white but it was pink and white stripes of a couch like I love that so so cool I really enjoyed this book I will keep it forever I feel like it's such a cool book to just have out to go through occasionally it's just really cool so love this so thankful for it from my aunt Nettie at an antique store going on with the Audrey theme at an antique store I found Breakfast at Tiffany's the movie and of course I had to pick it up and I am so happy I own it now I can't believe I didn't own it I actually ended up buying more Audrey films because I was like why can't I just buy them I, I should have bought them a long time ago but me and my boyfriend watched it recently and it was just so great I absolutely love it and I'm so glad I have it on Tape. you know I have it now and um, yeah it's like one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite books is Breakfast at Tiffany's and Audrey is my favorite and last Audrey thing I got this photo of her at an antique store and I absolutely fell in love I had to get it I don't have a picture up of her here in my makeup room but I thought it would be fitting I wanted one a picture of her to hang in here so this is perfect and I love I'm trying to get it so it doesn't do that I love how everything is black and white but her lipstick because there's such a debate about what lipstick she was wearing in Breakfast at Tiffany's the movie and so I just think this is like so fitting that it's black and white but her lipstick is in color and you know it's just so perfect for the makeup room I thought so I had to I had to get it I know you can't see it perfectly right now but um, I think honestly the person, it looks like it might have just been like a calendar uh, page that someone cut out and put in a frame, but I just think it's gorgeous and I'm going to definitely put it up somewhere in here and I'm super excited. So I wanted to show it to you because it is a favorite, but then I will be putting it up. Um, oh, a random favorite is my planner this is a bandeau planner and they have such cute stickers in here and i really enjoy the layout of the planner i just think it's so fun and really cool so i am super excited like i'll show you i really enjoy just the way it's laid out and i'm such a planner person so i really enjoy my planner it's a big it's a big deal to me i am looking at this you know every day so I really enjoy it and wanted to shout that out 
some food favorites. You're gonna laugh, but this brand here is super good. It is the Sofresco fruit juice, and this is the apple lemon mint, like cold pressed juice. Oh my gosh, I get this at like a health food type of store. So, so good. Had to shout that out. And then um, a food favorite, that was a drink favorite, but a food favorite is some Tampa, and this is the Light Life Buffalo flavor so tempa is like if you're a vegetarian it's more protein um you know meat substitute kind of and the buffalo flavor is so good you have to try it if you're a vegetarian or if you're curious but these are my food favorites <laughs> and then um i just have some random things we watched my boyfriend and i watched ozark the new season that was really great i feel like it was kind of crazy and unexpected but it's a fun, interesting show. Maybe not a fun show. It's an interesting show. And I think that was it. But I have one more thing I wanted to mention. But let me just make sure I got through it all. Yeah, I think I did. The last thing is my boyfriend and I got a little dwarf hamster named Prince. And he is such a favorite. I might post about him eventually on my instagram shake up makeup shan follow me there for a lot of makeup content but um but anyways prince is just so cute and we've been loving you know holding him and buying him toys and treats and stuff like that so that is definitely a favorite of the month um we got him in you know a couple weeks ago in january so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video it was a little longer than i expected because i had a lot um that i wanted to show you guys but i hope you enjoyed and i'd love to hear what you've been loving this month or you know re recently and yeah i hope you have a great rest of your day i'll talk to you guys later bye